Assalamualaikum and hi to everyone. We are from Group 4. We will present about telemetry system. What is telemetry? Telemetry is measurement of something from far. The process which uh, measurable quantities such as temperature, level, pressure flow, displacement and many more are transferred to a convenient distant location. So, what is optical wireless? Optical wireless is a telemetry system in which fiber optic components are used in telemetry to gather, transmit and distribute data originating from one or more sensors that are typically located far away from the control point. So, for the working principle of optical fiber telemetry system is transducer or sensor. It is to convert the physical variable to be telemetered into an electrical quantity. Number two is signal conditioner one. To, it is to convert the electrical output of the transducer or sensor into an electrical signal compatible with the next element. Next a component is transmitter. It is to transmit the information signal coming from the signal conditioner 1 using a suitable carrier signal to the receiving end. The transmitter is made up of the following parts. Number 1 is PCM modulator. It is to get a digitized value of the measurement from signal conditioner 1 and produce binary voltage pass in a coded sequence. Number 2, voltage to current converter. It converts the coded binary voltage pass into corresponding current pass as the next element that is the light source works on current input. Number 3 is light source. It converts the binary current pass to binary optical pass. Number 4 is light source. To optical fiber coupling unit. It, it, it is also called simply as source to fiber coupler. For the next component is signal transmission medium. The signal transmission medium is an optical fiber which works on the principle of total internal reflection and thereby serve as the waveguide for the propagation of the infrared optical beam from the transmitter to the receiver. The transmission signal is a high intensity narrow infrared optical beam. For the receiver, the receiver includes component performing the complementary function of the transmitter components in reverse order. For the number one is optical fiber to light detector coupling unit. It is also called simply as fiber to detector coupler. Number two is light detector. It is usually a pin diode. It's used to detect the binary optical pass it gets from the optical fiber and to convert them to binary current pass. Number three is current to voltage converter. Number four is PCM modulator which delivers digital voltage signal to the end device through an appropriate signal conditioner. For the signal conditioner 2, it is to process the receiver output to make it appropriate for driving the specified end device. Lastly, for end device, it, this element is so called because it appears at the end of the system. So next is radio telemetry system. What is radio telemetry system? The transmitting and receiving end of radio telemetry use a radio connection. And they have two types. The first one is short range radio telemetry and the second one is satellite radio telemetry. For the short range radio telemetry is used when the sensor output cannot be taken through wires where the distance involved is short. For the working principle, the first one is start with transducer or sensor that send the signal to the signal conditioner 1 and then transfer it to the transmitter that made up of three parts. The first one is RF modulation, uh, it's IDAM or FM. And then uh, we have band pass filter, BPF, that can stop any undesired frequency. And the third one is power amplifier to speedily amplify the power of the signal before feeding it to the transmitter antenna or TV. So from the transmitter to the receiver, there is signal transmission medium uh, where the radio link that consists of transmitting antenna TA and uh, receiving antenna RA. And then for the receiver, the receiver consists of three also, three parts. The first is input filter or tuner, uh, input amplifier and demodulator. And then from the receiver, they go to signal conditioner 2 uh, and then go to the end device. Next is satellite radio telemetry. It is called satellite radio telemetry when satellite radio communication is utilized to connect a radio telemetry system like this. For the working principle for satellite radio telemetry, it is seems like um, short uh, range radio telemetry but the difference is at the transmitter where uh, for the satellite radio telemetry, it consists of intermediate frequency IF modulator, uh, IF to RF up converter and power amplifier. At the signal transmission medium also different where the communication between the transmitter and receiver take place via a communication satellite which is a machine that keeps rotating around the earth and is equipped with one or more transponder acting as radio wave repeater in the sky. 
uh, for the receiver, the receiver in the receiving earth station receive the radio signal at downlink frequency. And then they, uh, from the receiver, they go to signal condition 2 and go to end device. The next is pneumatic transmission. Pneumatic transmission is the transfer of power for gas or fluid pressure to compress it as the working medium. The system of transfer, transferring power is simply transferring compressed air through the pipe and pneumatic valve, valve or pressure control valve to the pneumatic actuator. Next is working principle of pneumatic transmission. The first one is intake filter. An intake filter is used to filter out the pollutant from the air which is also known as an air filter. Number two is compressor. The main function of this compressor is to reduce the volume of air and increase the air pressure. Number three is motor control center. The motor in this system is used to supply mechanical en energy to the compressor because the motor function is to change the energy from electrical to mechanical. Number four is cooler. The cooler is used to decrease the temperature of the compressor air. Number five is separator. The separator is used to separate the moisture or water vapor within the air. Number six is receiver. The receiver in the system is a high pressure tank used to store the compressor air which is coming from the air coolers. Number seven is air treatment. The air treatment in the above system can be separated into three stages. So in the first stage is the large size particles are banned from en entering the compressor through an intake filter. The air exiting from the compressor may have a high temp temperature. So it is treated in the next stage. In the final stage is the compressor air temperature is decreased with a cooler and the compressor air can be dried through a dryer. Number 8 is pressure switch. Pressure switches is in the above system are used to detect the increase or decrease in air pressure which are either changeable or not adjustable. These switches are used in vacuum or pressure application. Number 8 is control valve. The control valve in the above system is used to change the airflow direction. Number 9 is air actuator. In a pneumatic system, the air actuator is an essential part and the main function of this to use the compressor air energy which, which also called pressure energy and change it into mechanical energy. So, we can get the final output from, from the air actuator. That's all from me. Thank you.